Right, I thought I'd make a video um, to try out my new rice washing thing. Okay, the tea man. I love it. So this is a tea. Um, so it's got them little drainage holes um, there. So you put the rice in, wash it, you know, um, and then tip the water out. Because usually, I think it's so much hard work that I normally don't bother washing the rice at all. And I think it's really important that you wash the rice. But, um, I think it, it carries this mould So I'm going to get a cup of rice um, Right, and wash it I've got a cup of rice here and I'm going to um, put it in there we are. I'll get me filtered water and I'm gonna Oh uh -huh. so you can put quite a bit of um water in there before it even reaches anywhere near them. So now you just get your hands in and apparently washing the rice with your bare hands um is really good for your skin. There's something in the rice. In fact you can buy rice water soap. You know, good for hair. You know, the, some of the Chinese people, they use it to wear rice water to wash the hair. And some of the um, people with the African hair, they'll use rice water to take the kinks out of the hair because it's got keratin in, it's full of keratin, so it uh, has like a straightening power. But yes, very therapeutic. So I'm giving it a really good... Really good wash this. I remember my mum doing this, you know. She would always say to me, Christine, you've got to wash the rice five times. That's what I'm doing, so I had to get it off my hands though. Right. So it's stuck to my hands. Right. Hot waters. Yeah, it's quite uh, cloudy that. So I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna now um, tip it through them holes. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it five times. The rice is already swelled just off that. Just without cooking it. No. I'm going to fill this filter jug with um, I use I fill the filter jug with the filter tap, you know. I've seen a photograph of the inside of a drinking water pipe, you know, that comes to our houses. Oh, it's absolutely disgusting. As I said, if you ever saw the inside of your, your water pipes that carries your water to your house, you would never touch it, you know. But then, what do you trust, you know? Half the time, the bottled water they get is... Um, Actually, tap water. And the market and it is something else because there there's no checks or very few checks, you know, to police um, whether it is what it says it saying it is, you know. So I think it's probably better just to prepare your own water. I mean, generally, I like to put it through that filter. And then put it into my filter jug, and then I like to boil it. And then I've got a filter tank that goes into the fridge, and then when the water's cooled, I put it through that filter tank so it's actually filled it three times and boiled. Probably got no minerals left in it, like. but I, I put something like silicate in water now and again. It's a, if you have a Google of that, silicate's really good, packed with minerals. So, I suppose you kind of get the gist of them, um, and that water's not as cloudy. But I am actually going to do it the five times, well, not video it five times, um, just the way that my mum told us to do it, you know. There, I dropped the phone there. I've just had to put it back on so it's a little different angle. It's got me here, my drying rack here that I love. 
on it. But uh, yes, I've done it. I didn't actually do it the five times. I just did it three times because when I remember my mum doing it five times, she kind of just filled the pan with water and swished it about and then tipped it off, you know. Whereas I was physically actually uh, washing the rice with my hands. So yeah, already. There you go.